hey y'all welcome to my channel if you're new go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you're not welcome back y'all so with this this is simply me trying to make a braided ponytail i love the one i did previously and even though this one didn't turn out like the last one it still turned out pretty decent so as of right now my hair is flat on um it's been flat on for like seven days so i really didn't have to put too much heat on it i really just did the perimeters to make sure that it was gonna slick down then i put the wax um wax glue well the beeswax that's what i'm talking about and I slide that through, not too much, not too much, just, you know, enough to just get those flying hairs out the way. And then I also have um, got to be spray that I also um, spray on top. Look, came in right in on cue. <laughs> and that's really just like an extra layer, you know, to keep it nice and slick for the rest of the night. Being outside, the wind, you know, it'd be a lot going on outside. But you just want to make sure it's pinned down nicely. Now, this is my second attempt. I ain't going to even lie to y'all. I tried to do the, where you balled it all the way up and then you put the hair over it and you try to blend it. In. That didn't work. That did not work at all. So, I just took my ponytail completely out and just decided to braid it in. Now, this is where I should have did better and why it didn't turn out the way it was before when you start the braided ponytail at the very top baby you need to hold hold braid hold and braid to make sure you get all of that hair in there and at the very top to me i didn't braid it tight enough but we're gonna continue oh look at that limb okay so this method is you pretty much is going to take you're going to take one part in the front of your head the second part behind it like that and then you're going to put a scrunchie over which is what i was doing and then you definitely want to take out your little side piece to cover the ponytail holder that's that side and this part right here, this part right here, I should have grabbed it a whole lot tighter. It's good that I was brushing it out and doing all of that, but I should have braided it a whole lot tighter at the very beginning. But that's what you want to do. Then you're going to braid it all the way down, still holding that little side piece. I was breaking my three pieces and the three pieces was even. That's what's blowing me. But I didn't braid it super, super tight at the base. And that's what you want to do. Child, arms just hurting. Crying. Just started. And look, I'm trying to pull it. Trying to add a little got to be. Trying to make sure it's nice and slick. Nope. Should have had it a whole lot tighter. And it looked like I'm gripping it. But no, nah, baby. You got to go a little tighter than that. And you go all the way down. Child, look at the sleeve. It look like I've been in war. <laughs> you see the top part? That part should have been braided in a lot tighter. A lot tighter. But since I did it so good the first time, y'all thought I was going to kill it. And wrong. You cannot miss any steps. Okay? Now, this is the part where after you done braiding, you're going to take your guys to be spray. Look at the braid, y'all. And I, I, looked, I couldn't even finish the second part looking at the braid. But I just got to fluff it out and throw my baby. See, this is what you want to prevent. Me stuffing my hair into the braid. If I would have did it a lot tighter to the base, I wouldn't have to worry about that part. All right, y'all tried the best I could. <laughs> and the base part, real simple, real easy. You don't need that much got to be either. I don't put a lot of spray. And you just wrap it real tight. Y'all, the braid is pissing me off. It's so bumpy. <laughs> it's so bumpy, but I played it off. I 
All right, y'all, we coming to a close. Got to spray that little last part. All right, y'all, so after we then, you know, tap the edges a little bit, I'm trying to just make the braid just, you know, a little wider than before. You can play it off as long as you just start pulling it because you don't want the top to just be real, real, you know, puffy and then the middle, the end get real, real skinny. So I thought I did my edges, but they're really just brushed out a little bit. So I'm actually about to hit the edges next. One of my favorite parts. Mm -hmm. Get that edge control. And we're just doing just baby hairs. Just baby hairs. We're not pulling hair up. I literally just push. I take my little fingers and I just push forward. And that's the hair we're going to work with. You know, that's, that's all we need. Mm-hmm. Get that perimeter. Not too much on the forehead. <laughs> See, the ponytail, nice and slick. It's just a braid. Guys, to do better. But look at the edge. Look at the edges. Focus. Don't take too much. Get that top. Like I said, not too much on the forehead. Relax. Baby, I don't know what I'm laughing at, but come on. Let's get to the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Edge check, edge check. Okay, y'all. Let's get to it. Okay, so y'all, this is me getting ready about to do my makeup. Like when I say makeup, child, don't get ready for a whole tutorial. It's gonna be really quick, okay? I just do a light foundation, really just under my eyes and my cheeks. So I really just get like my dark spots on my face. And do a pat one, two. We don't do contour. We're not using three, four colors, baby. We got one color. One color. That's it. That's all. And we just go in to, you know, lighten up the little dark spots. That's all I really do. Then when it comes to eyes, I'll either do lashes or I'll do mascara. Um, on this day, I decided to just use mascara. I have nice long eyelashes, so... They really come out really good with just mascara. Mm hmm. Told you, quick one, too. Baby, we almost done. Don't worry about it. So, I knew I didn't want like a permanent color like a red or a purple. So, I wanted to do something light that I can do a gloss over. And I like the real, real pink. And then I put the gloss over it so it's not ashy. So this is just me trying this pink to see if it's, it's is it too bright? Do it work just well? Cause I'm gonna be mixing it too. And child, I don't know nothing about makeup. I'm still new and still learning and <laughs> see how all this works. So yes, y'all, that's that's my little makeup journey. Not too much, but look, it's just enough. A good natural look. So I went back and just cleaned up a little bit um on the braid it's not straight you know it's a little bumpy type braid but it was still cute <laughs> and i'm mad because the first braid i did was nice and straight and i didn't record me doing that at all ain't that how it works <sighs> but this was the look of the night subscribe y'all this how it looked the first time i did it all right y'all bye